Hi, I am Harshwardhan from harshwardhanart.com and welcome to this episode. In this episode, we will be learning how to take this ordinary landscape and turn this into this extraordinary magical landscape. So this course is actually divided into four parts and the first part will be doing the basic editing and that is the raw processing in the Adobe Lightroom. In the second part, we will take this photo into the Photoshop and we will replace the sky with the more dramatic sky and in the third part will be first open the image in the Adobe Lightroom since it is a raw file which I have shot with my camera, I always prefer to shoot in camera raw because that gives you more lots of control over while post processing the image. Alright, so first thing first, let's come so over here to, to this the... develop panel. Make sure you are in the develop panel. If you are not on the development mode or if you are in the library mode, then press D on your keyboard and it will switch to the develop mode because on develop mode we have all these editing options you can see whereas if you are in the library mode you have only access to very quick develop settings tonal control, white balance, some exposure, sharpening and saturation ok whereas the develop mode has load more controls you can see and we can even drag this bar little further further down and you can see we have lots of other controls so we if once we are in the develop mode let's come first to the tone and select auto most of the time it works for me okay so increase the contrast a little bit and uh, highlights down take it towards the negative side so that we can see some details in the sky though it doesn't matter since we are going to replace the sky with something more dramatic okay so let's come to the temperature panel and take this white balance towards the warmer tone because I wanted to create it something warmer okay around here and we can bring the tint even towards the green little bit and little bit warmer okay now come down to the recents and increase the clarity a little bit little bit vibrance don't touch the saturation as yet because it's always good to increase the vibrance rather than saturation because saturation will distort the color if you'll increase the saturation way too much that will distort the color in present in the image so it's always preferable to increase the vibrance rather than the saturation now come down to the tone curve we don't need to touch that all right now come to the HSL panel where we have three options hue saturation and luminance okay so we'll go down to the hue and we'll take the green color towards the yellow or towards the negative side so that it turns around yellow okay now split toning we don't need that let's come down to the details it's very important part these are very important controls so first thing you come 
come here on the masking slider and press alt or option on your keyboard if you are on mac and just click and drag towards the positive side or towards the right and until you start seeing these uh, this mask this mask actually how it works wherever there is a black color the sharpening will not apply and wherever there is white color it will apply so we want the sharpening to be applied on the edges or the details of this image since there are these are wheat wheat field this is a wheat field so we want the sharpening to be applied on these wheat plants okay so take it around here around 81 and now you can increase the sharpening further so it will not affect the sky or other things but only the uh, edges of these wheat plants now come to the noise reduction though there is no noise present in the image but still if you want you can increase it a little bit now come down to the lens correction option and check remove chromatic abrasion now we have three options basics and profile and color so in color we have checked the remove chromatic abrasion if you are not aware what is chromatic abrasion chromatic abrasion is sometimes we can see these purples as is purple color as is on the uh, on some objects while shooting that is that happens due to the lens problem or incorrect lighting or sometimes when there is a flare so in order to remove that we need to just click defringe most of the time it works while just taking this option and if it is not working you can pick this eye picker color picker you can take this color picker tool and you can select that color because sometimes it does happen that the chromatic aberration is not of purple color but of some other color so in that case you can choose that particular color and you can adjust it from here also like the amount purple hue amount green hue sometimes you get the green green hue so you can do that okay now come to the profile click enable profile correction and make sure you select auto auto over here setup auto and it will automatically select your lens profile model etc and if you want you can even further take it by adjusting it distortion and vignette okay you can see a slightest of difference in the distortion of the image basic may uh, in the basic click enable profile correction remove chromatic abrasion since we have already checked this from the color and the profile so it is already ticked now this is effect panel we don't need the effect as yet this effect panel can be used to create the vignette effect if you want you can create the black vignette it will take it to the left and if it will take it to the right it will create the white vignette effect but this is not what we want okay so this part is done we will take this image into the photoshop in the next part and in the next part we'll add the sky or replace the sky with dramatic one then we'll do all sorts of advanced editing so let me just export it you can just click here and export and you can specify the which folder you want to export to and here you have other options file renaming file setting I would suggest you that you keep the quality to 100% 
make sure the image format is jpeg and color, color space is srgb you don't want to resize the image if you want you can resize the image from here output sharpening if any you want but don't touch anything if you want watermarking you can also do the watermarking from here and you can also choose the action post processing that means after the exporting of the image what what action you want the lightroom to take so you can choose from these options like show in explorer open in adobe photoshop cc 2015 or open in other applications so we'll choose open in adobe photoshop cc 2015 and press export you can save this preset as by clicking here add and you can rename it and that it will show up here like i have created two for me right here and press export so processing will start here you can see export one file and it's it will process it and after that it will open our image automatically into the photoshop thanks for watching and if you like the today's episode please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you